Do not worry. أنا قلت الدولة بتصير على الخمسين وصار على الخمسين عشان أنا واسق من كل كلام اللي بتطلع من تمي. Everybody, how's it going? Welcome to uh, another episode of the show. We got the whole families here. Well, kind of. How's everybody doing? Welcome to episode number 83. Doing great. No I'm really good. One to Nikki. Doing good, good. <laughs> uh, folks, we got two sponsors this week. Uh, we got a brand new sponsor that we'd like to thank for a sponsoring part of this episode. Take it, y'all. Music school, guys. You guys want to learn music for at an affordable price? Well, stick around. You're going to learn. Uh, how and it's an awesome it's actually a very awesome sponsor with a very very good deal that i think you guys are gonna like so stick around for that thank you to take it Leon music school and uh, you know him you love him Sendwave. thank you for sponsoring our episode thank you for being our sponsors for a couple of months we really appreciate you Sendwave. uh how's everybody doing uh like the video subscribe to the channel leave a comment we got a lot of interesting topics this week we are um there's some rick and morty stuff the creator of rick and morty is in some hot water folks i know a lot of you guys love rick and morty elijah's obsessed with rick and Maybe morty shoes, rick and morty, Maybe shoes, rick and morty. we got some maya sufi updates there's miss lebanon was at the was competing in miss universe and her dress became this whole big controversy on la twitter people hating it people loving on it etc we got dr food uh, used to be an actor He used to be a drama <laughs> actor. He's dropping a line of biscuits soon with Shuru. We have videos of him and Shuru fighting on camera. A lot of fun Dr. Food stuff. Celtel is modeling. Uh, we have a new character, Joy Tassidis or Joy Tassidis. I don't know what his name is. Joy Tassidis. Tassidis? Yeah. Uh, we got Remy Ael dropped a video. Uh, and fine. And uh, we're going to review The Last of Us, the first episode of The Last of Us based on the very popular video game. 10 out of 10. We're, we're going to talk about that at the end. Spoiler free, of course. Uh, but first, let us thank a couple of patrons. And we got a brand new patron this week. A brand new superhero patron uh, by the name of Zayn Rida. He is the brother of Hassan Rida, someone who, who recently became a patron. So the Rida brothers, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for supporting us and for watching the show. Thank you, Zayn. Welcome to the superhero patron family. Uh, and to thank a couple of blonde patrons like Ronya Abed, Daniel Habib, Jad al Hajj, Karim Haber, uh, Yusuf Salah, Michel Isa, Enzo S. You guys are beautiful. Superhero patrons like Mocha Bara, Mohariri, and Adrian N., who apparently thinks our shows become too long. <laughs> According to Noor, she ran into him. And got to your patrons, Jessica Ann, Muhammad Naamani, 69ing Monkeys, Andrew G, Jack Sleeman, Burgery, the best burgers in Tripoli, and Adam Khazan, folks. So thank you, guys. If you guys want to support us, we need your support. We're doing a big episode. It's taking us a lot of time and a lot of prep next week. The Do Not Worry Awards that we are working tirelessly on. If you guys want to support us and make sure I can pay the interns, support us on Patreon. Check out the link. Find a tier that's right for you. Like I mentioned, we have the Do Not Worry Awards coming up next week. We're going to be recording it this Saturday, and it's going to come out next Thursday. Uh, we got a lot of fun surprises planned. We're working very hard on that episode, so it should be a lot of fun. It's too late to vote. I'm not going to lie to you. If you, have, if you didn't get your votes in... Uh, don't bother, because we already got a list of winners, and we've already started reaching out to them and stuff, so uh, it is too late. But thank you for everyone who did vote, all the patrons who voted. Your votes count extra. Uh, we, we voted as well. Our votes count towards 20% of the results. We'll talk about all of that later. Speaking of last week's episode, uh, we talked a lot about The Swimmers, uh, the big Netflix movie. Have you guys, By the way, I said that you guys, neither of you had watched yeah, the movie. And the what did you think of the movie, Elijah? I loved it, honestly. Oh, you loved it? Yeah, <laughs> it was very nice. We did emotional. The execution was much over the top, but it was like pretty good enough. Do you, Yana, do you agree with Manal's view? No, no, no. I did during watching the movie, but after like listening to everything she said, she's... No, really. No, ma habay. Anna, Anna, she scares me to be honest with you. Like, Khafman, I feel like if I see her, I would I'll never you. work with her as I could. And it seems uh, not after reading that article. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. What was it? What you mentioned? No, had that muscle Zack Snyder. My kid's gonna get paid more. Thou can't a smaller role. Yeah, another whole payment. One fifty k is a lot. It's a lot, man. Yeah. Anna, that that's what rubbed me the wrong way the most was the money. Entenur, you haven't seen it? No. I told you, I asked her to watch by it last the week. Way, by the way, by the way, in the episode of the movie, you were going to be in the movie. I was fucking sick. I had a lot of time in bed. He was going to be in the movie. When I had the movie, she was going to be in the topic. She's sick every, every two weeks. Yeah, I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. You got to take the vitamin D. Work out. You got to work on that immune system. There's something wrong with the immune system. You know what I mean? What's that? 
Anyways, James Krishna, co-star. <laughs> James Krishna, the coast, Manal's co-star. Uh, here he is. Handsome lad. Watch the episode. Well, I'm not going to lie. I tagged everyone on Twitter. He did watch it. He watched my, Everyone who complained about Manal on Twitter, I tagged them. I was like, listen, I made this episode. You guys want to watch this? So James replied. He was like, hi, Anthony. Thank you for your podcast. Well, nice. Matters. You have concluded lots of things that are true. Good luck with your future podcasts and work. Hope the situation in Lebanon gets better soon. It's a very sad state of affairs from what I hear and read. Peace and love. And then he also said, like, he's not, the guy's a very nice guy. He was like, by the way, Manal and, and her sister Natalie are very talented, etc. So even though they had their differences on set, and I responded, I'm like, absolutely. They're, 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 they were the best part of the movie, I think, and their relationship and their chemistry. Was hey, like, her acting is really They're good. both great. But so no, just wanted to highlight James, and yeah, I was the sneaky little bastard, and I tagged them on. I wanted them to see it, okay? Because no one was answering them. Like, they were replying to the guy who their tweets didn't get any attention, so I figured I wanted their tweets to get some attention, because everyone just focused on the anti-Netflix, anti- and all of that stuff, kind of. Like Fadj and Nadim Kaleidoscope. Yeah, and so yeah, last week, Fitna be a controversy, folks. Uh, people are mad at me in the comments. And Kif Mahalit Nadim Mikhalis this Kaleidoscope review, he wanted to review it, guys. But when we when we got to the Netflix part in last week's episode, we had already been filming for like an hour and a half. And I was like, Khalas, this episode is running too long. But Talfina, when Nadim he tends to, he's a little slower. He takes his time to, sometimes to, so I was like, man, he's gonna, this is gonna be another like four minutes of talking. I was like, we gotta stop. I'm like, Nadim, be careful. No one, no one cares enough to hear it. Then we get in a, a bunch of comments like, Le attached Nadim. Why I wanted to know what he said. Why I wanted to hear what he said. Tayyib. So I reached out to Nadim. I'm like, send me a review by video and we'll watch it here together. Huh. You guys happy? Hey guys, last episode we were talking about Kaleidoscope. We can just go to the series, but something we're going to do. So in this video, I'll be doing a small review and I'll give you my opinion about it. There's this one thing that I really want to tell you about Kaleidoscope. Who and no, actually Netflix, what they did is that... Enough! We don't even... I don't want to hear anymore. <laughs> I'm not gonna, we're not gonna hear this, Nadim. I don't care what you have to say. Okay, we're not watching this. This is as much as we're getting towards. All right? I'm sorry I'm teasing you guys, but Smuffy, you guys wanna know? You follow him on Instagram. I don't want none of that shit here. Uh, speaking of interns and how much I hate, I hate you all, I sent a comment on a YouTube video. I don't know if you guys saw it. I don't think so because you guys didn't mention it. Uh, it's pretty ruthless, actually. Masafi not added. Masafi ko not added. Let's let me. Oh read my this god! Right. Nice. It's more a, fr a friend of an op. So after watching a couple of podcasts, <laughs> I believe this is purely Anthony podcast, and the interns are his guests. If so, I want to mention that Anthony is extremely gifted at this, and I genuinely enjoy his delivery. But the interns either need to change every couple of episodes or have to excel on their delivery. Again, personal opinion, but it goes without saying. Such an entertaining podcast can get a couple more thousand views and a wider scale of recognition if you stick with the concept of Anthony changing his interns every week or so, or have a couple of regulars uh, where he changes every while. Sad truth. Whenever the interns speak, it's unbelievably cringe, and you just don't want to continue watching. You have a gift, Anthony. Abuse it. Cheers. So according to this viewer, you guys are holding me back. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. I totally agree, Mao. Anjad? Like as a channel, <laughs> this is gonna fuck me in the ass, yeah, but as a channel, as an entire week, and like two random people, like, but it's not just random. No, no, bro. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm random people every week. And you're what's your name? And you're. But the idea it would be cool, but at the same no, no, time, it would, it would not be cool at all, bro. It was a horrible idea. It's nice to have more than just two interns. And when one has a issue, and I'm sick for the seventh time in two months, I can't, I can't be here. Hey, it's nice to have a couple of spares, and I've already I've looked for some spares before. Yeah, I'm Hakazi Balek. We already have Nadim, and I'm working on trying to get another one at some point to replace Noor. We need a female to take Noor's place when she's not here. So yalla, shud al himme ya Noor. Just like our boy Ali, the little man Ali on TikTok says, shud al himme shabab. Why am I being attacked? Hal episode. You're not being. No, no, I'm in love with you, Noor. Hal, the comments. Share a comment that's so mean. The comments when it comes to events. Yeah, this guy. Look, a friend of an op. Thank you for being so kind to me, but this was so mean. But so no. Maybe he's right. Maybe I could have been at 10,000 subscribers if I didn't have you guys sitting here ruining my show. Shuhaida. Your Patreons would have been uh, down half. All I know is that he's not listening to you now. He's like, la 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 la, this shit sucks. Unbelievably cringe. Yeah. Anyways, I disagree. Best friend of an op, thank you for being so kind. You know what I mean? I, 
I'll defend the interns because you know I have to. Like in terms of like hosting skills, no, you defend and us as you want to, not because you have. To. No, no, I'll defend it because I want to. I keep them the better host, of course. You're the best host. Yeah, I can't like oh. express this enough. Into the way you speak, the way you have it with words on the uh, podcast. Keep talking. Keep. Dear, uh, no, no nothing to say about my way of speaking. You got nothing to say about no, my. No. Anna, I have my viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Noor, hell, I should get DMs. Noor, I disagree with what Anthony said on the show today. I really disagree. You are really, really pretty. Were you sad today? And just but the send food kits, kits, pics. Send food kits. Food kits. Food kits. Shoot charity. Speaking of interns, Anthony Elijah, your favorite show is it Rick and Morty? Is Rick and Morty like your favorite TV show? No, you're obsessed. You're wearing Rick and Morty. I'm obsessed with Rick and Morty. Shoes. Not my favorite. You were just playing. What's the video game called? With a gun who's alive. Ah, high on life. High on life. Come in, I've written. Ulaib, Rick and Morty, it's virtual written by reality. Ju- it's written by Justin Roiland, high on life. So, no kill Rick and Morty. Uh, the dude's in some hot water, folks. And if you guys Bye. love Rick and Morty, I think uh, the show's in big trouble because the creator, the co-creator of Rick and Morty, and the guy who does both voices for Rick and Morty, Justin Roiland, is being accused of domestic abuse. So, déjà, like that came out then a couple of years ago. He beat his girlfriend at the time. And like she sued him for domestic abuse, and he's gonna go to court. So that came out. So apparently, if you if you if you date Justin Roiland and he gets mad at you, he might smack you or something. The details of what he did and the domestic abuse aren't clear. But then, uh, like a bunch of DMs came out of like girls that he's hit on on like Instagram or on social media. Uh, a lot of them are underage girls, like they're under 18. It's just kind of messed up. So for example, this girl. This is there's a lot of these DMs. That's just a quick example. He's like, oh yeah. Sorry, I'm at the airport. It's insane in the membrane. What time is it there now? She said it's 11.37. He says, oh, so, so rate. It's so, so rate. Me so Chinese. He's trying to do like a, like the South Park Chinese, racist Chinese accent. She's like, I have school tomorrow. He's like, oh, school tomorrow. Oh, no. That's so fucked. I don't know why I'm doing the accent too. She's like, FML. Then he says, you should just run away from home and go into sex slavery. You fucking stupid F word, bitch. Then he says, JK, and then she like says, you wish, you stupid bitch. Like, okay, and she's joking around with him. I said, no, she's under 18 is the point. Uh, and there's like a message where he literally says like, when you turn 18, you should like do this or whatever. It's so fucked. Here's another message that he sent to someone. I have been watching you closely since you were born, just waiting for you to be a fully mature woman so that I can date you. I have waited my entire life for this moment right now. You have not seen me, but I have seen you all your life. Okay, this is a hey, so creepy, so fucked up. What the up. fuck, And bro? this is like grooming 101. Age is just a social construct. I have been single intentionally just so that I can stay pure for you. I want uh, I want to take you on my boat and show you the world. Let's fucking go. Also, I spoke to your dad and mom. They know I'm a cool guy. I'll meet you after school at 30, at 3.30 at Duncan. Fuck, man. That shit's weird. This is another... Shit disturbing. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Morty. Hey, 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 Rick. Hey, Morty. Like, oh, fuck, man. Now when you think about that shit... Like uh, Pascal had asked him by making like and Morty fucked his brain or she Definitely. So here's another uh, DM he sent to someone. Can you write a song about nine dicks of different size and ethnic origins hanging above your face? And then in the lyrics describe how they each splatter you with the S word. But important, the larger message of the song is about how we are all the same and no more racism. Who's this Lee character? Why does he, she have to find parking? Why are you a huge F word? Answer later. Then he says, sorry, Ali. I'm okay. My fourth. Gl- I'm on my fourth glass of wine. This was all off record. Don't break my trust, you asshole. J.K. You're all right. So any. So I'm guessing a lot of this comes out when he's drunk too. He DMs someone else. Hey, I heard you were a minor, so I decided to message you. J.K. Lol. She says, "Sup, la Burke." What? Anyways, he says, I just got done writing a superb wubba lub dub dub script where I get home. When I get home, I'm going to beat the shit out of my wife. 100, 100 fire. She says, not that bad. He says, daddy didn't tell you to open them soft lips of yours, little boy. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Very weird. I like, we have to keep in consideration this could be easily photoshopped. Like, yeah, but the, yeah, but so no, where, where there's sm- one specific clear doesn't make sense. Ma- one one Anyways, where there's smoke, there's usually fire, and if there's mm. there's a, there's been a lot of smoke recently, so it seems like this is pretty legit. My only question is, what do they do? Because he does the voices for the two main characters, so like, can can they find a voice actor that can recreate Rick and Morty's voice? Probably, but he's also like his comedy, his brand of humor is essential to the identity of of that show, of the video games, his video game company. Like the dude is an integral part of 
of what he makes. So like you can't just get. So I I think this is the end of of Rick and Morty. Not that I care that much. I like the show, but I'm not in a. I think Rick intense Rick and Morty fans misajin شوي. They're kind of annoying. like أنا كنت عم بحكي اليوم مع my friend what actually news I called. I'm like what the fuck شو عم بيصير. بس إنه if he عن جد كل شيء like صاير وهلا إنه leaked it's true. لا لا افضل تو كانسل ريك اند مورتي لانه ما بيستاهل تو ميك ماني بقى اوف اوف ذس يا اتس كومبليكيتد اتس كومبليكيتد دو يو واتش ريك اند مورتي ار يو نو اف سين ا فيو ابيسودز وهيك بس انا نوت ا هيوج فان يعني بس اي ثينك اتس اوكي يا بس اي دو ثينك انه اتس انه اتس فور ذا بيتر اتس نوت اوكي اتس فك احضروا ذا لاست سيزونز ذير فكينج اميزنج بس خلص ما مدي تو بروموت ذس شفت ذس واي ريك اند مورتي فانز ار نوينج اي ما تفهموا يا رو اتش جيم خلص وسجوان صوص ما بعرف شو ما تفهموا ما فهمتوا على ريك اند مورتي اي لانه اتس فكينج جينيوس ذير كومبليت مايند فكس ويل فروم ذا مايند اوف جاستن رويلاند هوز هيتنج اون ماينرز اكزاكتلي اني ويز اي ثينك هل منتاليتي لك هيك ستار منتاليتي هي سو انتايتلد هي ثينكس هي كان جيت اواي ويز هي ثينكس از انستوبل اتس بين اتس بين ا توف باست ا كابل ويكس for men the manosphere you know we got our boy justin roiland on andrew callahan from channel 5 the videos that i do the mini documentaries that i do they're inspired mm-hmm. by his videos the chet hanks interview that i made you guys watch oh good okay. it's andrew Ka- he's the guy who made him he, he just got accused of like a lot of sexual misconduct yeah. andrew tate is in prison andrew tate. man okay. man the hero of men uh, we, we hate us. we're not andrew tate fans here we don't like him i know a lot of people love him he's in prison for sex trafficking get over it folks he ain't coming out Anyways, uh, speaking of all that, of uh, sexual misconduct and horrible things, a friend of the show, I'm happy to say, Maya Sufi, uh, just had an appearance on El Jadid to basically talk about her sexual harassment case. Uh, Did she mention us? No, of course not. Oh, okay. Why would she mention us? <laughs> uh, I, would, I would love to show you guys some of the footage, but El Jadid is going to hit us with a copyright strike. So here's just a couple of screenshots. Okay, here's... Like it's like a panel type thing, and here she is on the screen. I think she was, you know, she was abroad when she did that. She called in, mm. and here's another photo of her, which I think is kind of fucked up. Yeah, they have the host in the middle. They have Maya on the right, and then they called the guy, the the Sherb al the guy who harassed her, and they called him to get his opinion. Let's get your side of the story too. Like Bad Maessa, hello, that's he. They didn't call him live. That was just a photo of him, and he just you, ah, could, okay. you could just hear his well, you could hear his audio. But can I be happy? And he was trying to defend himself, but he was all over the place. So no one was really believing him. Anyways, Maya shared some updates on her Instagram that I kind of wanted to share with you guys of uh, what happened. I just landed in LA. Um, I'm seeing like everyone tag me in a million things. I'm not reposting anything because I don't want to keep talking about the shit of the issue. I want to move on with my life. Um, I thought it was a great interview, and I love that all the men supported me. Um, most like I said, I really like her voice. I really like how she speaks. I don't know, man. It's like it's so chill. Mm. Right. It is ASMR-ish. So the woman supported me. There was only one girl who I can't stand on the show. She was the girl wearing black who basically said that it's me and all the girls' fault. And I'm like, nah, no majel la sharbin. Habibti, when I go to do my hair at a hair salon. That's not me on Biftah Majel. Absolutely. Another thing was people were like, you saw him, like, tell the Mosfin leave. You saw him, Ethel Bib. Why didn't you say anything? Why didn't you go? I didn't see him. I had music in my ears. I had my head back in the sink. I didn't see the Mosfin leave. I didn't see him lock the door. So when that happened, I texted my friend right away. He came and got me. I Bro, it's so fucked that that lady was like, no. Am I? Another thing I want to say is the sheikh on the show. They brought a sheikh. They brought a lawyer, a psychologist, a sheikh, That's and then crazy. that random girl wearing black. The sheikh was like, "Well, Muslim girls don't go to boys to do their hair. Ninety percent of girls in Lebanon, Muslim or Christian, go to boys to do their hair. Exactly." That- Even boys go to boys to do that. Like, come in, boys. Like we all come on, man. Like that's a, that as a sheikh, go back home. You didn't need to be there, Anjad. And there's no need to get a religious person to give his commentary on why yeah. Maya got harassed at a, at a salon. Like, Shuji, what are you adding to the conversation, bro? All of my respect to religion. Well, no, no, no. Get it's on. not. I'm definitely not the problem. Akidla. And whether I go to a guy to do my hair or a woman, they shouldn't harass me. And I shouldn't have to bring a bodyguard or someone with me to go do my hair. I was naive to go to someone new to do my hair, but we had many mutual followers. Didn't think anything wrong would happen. You're not the naive. What's not naive? He retracted his statement when they said that has religion has nothing to do with this. And I think that in Lebanon there's a problem with 
They don't separate church from state. They don't separate religion from political and social issues. That is wrong. Social issues have nothing to do with religion. So that's the last thing I have to say. Shadabid embarrassed himself. Folks, and like she's Shadabid Muet literally like deleted his Instagram. Mm. He's not on he Instagram anymore. All his like hell, I just found Ando Shadabid Muet back up. Shadabid Muet dot back up. Here he is. He's trying to he's trying to come back, folks. We're not gonna let you do it, Shadabid. Anjad Maya, like. She ruined his she's career. Amazing, yeah, by the way. She's so well and that's yeah. awesome, man. I just she's been so relentless. Like my what if you know, she could have just left it at that TikTok. She's like, fuck no, I don't want to stop great. until that guy is fucked. But if you one part, let's just see uh, if there's anything useful here. Shadabu very clearly embarrassed himself. Khabas al Haki. At first all Dahana Sawa. Then when we all told him no we didn't, he was like, Wait, we didn't I didn't mean Dahana Sawa. Like you could see very clearly he was very anxious, interrupting everyone. He didn't let anyone talk. He's a liar. He deleted all his social media accounts. Hell yeah. So yeah, I'm very happy with the interview. Um, I'm very happy all the men stood by me and most of the women, just that one girl said something stupid and clearly has internalized misogynism. We hate her. Uh, <laughs> I love but her. <laughs> other than that, Shabit proved himself to be a liar. I proved myself in a wiji abyad, albi abyad. I'm very calm. I'm not a liar. Everything I said is true. I'm very proud of myself. Um, we obviously believe you, girl. Get some weird comments here and there, but these are closed minded people. And I hope I made a difference in Lebanon by speaking up. It was really hard for me to do, but I'm proud of myself. Aww. She's very sweet. I'm just, yeah. I, she's a sweetheart. Very, Anjad, we're very happy for you. Uh, dick move on El Jadid to, to like blindside her by having a sheikh and a lady who's like <laughs> 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 horrible okay let's change gears and take a second to talk about uh, our new sponsor folks Tekelion Music School now I know what you guys were thinking Anthony music what are you talking about well hear me out do you guys want to learn music but uh, you're sick of trying to learn by using YouTube videos uh, do you want a real instructor, a real human being to sit there and teach you how to play an instrument and guide you through the process? But maybe you're worried that, you know what, I'm too old. I'm 25 or I'm 30. It's probably too expensive. Well, worry no more, folks. Thanks to our brand new sponsor, Tekelion Music School, you can finally learn to master that instrument you've always wanted to play at an amazing price. But wait, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but wait, that's not all. If you sign up before the end of the month, folks, so you have until January 31st, if you sign up now to take it your music school, you will get one free month. That's right. You get one full free month of lessons starting at just $25 a month. So how does it, wh wh what are we talking about? Folks, we're talking piano. We're talking violin, viola, guitar, the flute, trumpet, saxophone. You're asking about the saxophone. I'm you can learn the saxophone, folks. Oh. The cello, cannon, drums, goblet drums, percussion, solfege, music theory, vocals, oud, and most importantly, folks, bouzouki. You can learn how to play the bouzouki. <laughs> So, uh, now you guys are wondering, Anthony, 25 bucks a month, what do I get? Well, for $25 a month, you get four sessions per month, 30 minutes each, so once a week, and they are tailored to meet your needs and skill level, whether you're a complete beginner, like I would be, or if you're more advanced, and every single session is one-on-one, -on -one, so you're gonna get that private, you know, close attention from your, from your instructor, he's gonna have all his focus on you so that you learn as much as you can. And if you think that 30 minute sessions are a little bit too short and you would like to spend more time learning music, well, you can opt for 45 minute sessions for $37 a month or one hour sessions for $50 a month, which is still awesome. You get four sessions a month. And again, if you sign up now before January 31st, you will get one month for free. Doesn't matter which one you choose. If you choose the $25 package, $37 package or $50 package, you will get one free month. So I got to say, a great deal. it's a great deal, man. And I'm very like, look, I'm 32 folks. I've never learned how to play an instrument. Like two years ago, I bought this thing. This is like a novation. <laughs> like it's a little mini key. You can create, like I made the do not worry intro music using this thing, but I, I kind of gave it up because I don't know how to play the piano and I never learned how to play the piano. So I was like struggling and I tried to learn by using YouTube and I wasn't learning anything. So naturally I gave up. Well, if I have something like this, I'm probably not going to give up. And I'm, I'm seriously, very seriously considering doing this myself because I want to learn instruments. I want to learn how to use this thing. I just got to figure out my schedule. But like, this isn't just for kids. I doubt a lot of the people watching even have kids. So like, this is for you. 
if you're in your 20s and your 30s and you want to treat yourself and finally learn an instrument, learn a new skill. This is an awesome deal. So thank you so much. And just some like background info. Tequilion Music School has been established since 1972. They've been doing this for decades and decades. Their certificates are recognized and signed by the Lebanese National Higher Conservatory of Music. So thank you to Tequilion Music School for sponsoring our show for this week. Uh, check them out. Hit them up on Instagram. Uh, we'll have their contact information in, in the description below. Tell them we sent you over at Do Not Worry and get that free month of music learning, folks. It's awesome. What an awesome deal. Uh, what the fuck is a bouzouki? Anjad, what the fuck is a bouzouki? Moving on from the bouzouki. If you guys know what a bouzouki is, please let me know in the <laughs> comment section below because I have no idea what a bouzouki is. Uh, but anyways, moving on from bouzoukis and music. Miss Liban. Miss Universe, I mean. I, I know close to nothing about this. All I saw... Well, can you walk me through it, Nu? Or do you know even less about this than I do? You probably know... <laughs> and I send them... I'm like, research this thing, get me this. I think they just save what I send them. I, I'm going to put you on the spot. Okay, so there was a event Miss Universe from the Okay, and in this event, there was like a cute girl, for example, now in the evening dress, and then bikini, and then blah blah blah. There was one that was like, I think I'm just, I'm back in costumes, costumes, national costumes, and mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. something that represents your country, and that. And he wore the edges. Right. Hey, she wore like an edges. It was like an. Miss Liban wore a cedar tree. We have the video, right? Here. Right. Hopefully, this doesn't get us copyrighted and muted. Just uh, a few seconds. Here she is walking around. So yeah, there's like a, the top of a cedar tree with the like shiitake, like a green thing. <laughs> it just looks cheap. So it doesn't look that bad. Look, she's very beautiful, Yanni. She's a very beautiful, you know, pretty woman. Like, you know. Who has sign and I'm not that is the sign of resilience. What did what was the sign? Doctors. <laughs> Our favorite word, resilience. It, it, it looks it looks cheap, Yanni. It looks like she been from like the dollar store with like Christmas decorations, you know. But no, it's. Who cares, man? If so uh, someone tweeted the video, or people started taking comments. Yeah, there was one initial tweet, right? So Sana Diana Khouri, Sana Diana Khouri shared it with like a bunch of laughing faces, and then a bunch of people started quote tweeting it, either in support of Miss Liban or either on the on Miss Liban camera. Like she got a bit. So hey, the candy. So I said, hey, can we see the panel of the show in the middle of the day? Until the budget. I can see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Yara Y says, Miss Lebanon is beautiful, has a confident approach, and is quite intelligent. But let's be real here. This outfit is ridiculous and hideous. We could have done a way better job representing our culture and heritage. Another tweet, uh, by Unicel, uh, Hodi ah, Saad. He's a drag queen. Ah, well, he says, yeah. Please stop pretending that her outfits looked good that night. She is gorgeous, but this dress is horrible. It looks like someone's first drag DIY outfit, poorly yeah. designed and executed. So here, here's another thing, another comment. Uh, so the person, so there's a caption. I think this, he shows my, is, is her. Is hey, Yasmina Zaytun. Okay. So here's the post. So Yasmina posted this on her Instagram. She was describing the outfit. She says, we are warriors. Even one of the biggest explosions in history didn't stop us from dreaming and succeeding because we are like the cedar, strong, unbreakable, and the magic word, folks, resilient. resilient. Uh, so Mish uh, at Wonderland Mish quote tweeted, who wants to read this one? Who wants to do this? No, not warriors. We're a people. I don't know. I don't know. She... We're a people. 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 <laughs> Bro, he's worse than me, but I don't know. 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 Uh, and to be fair, there were a lot of tweets. I wish we got some. the pro and against. But she reads, <laughs> <half the laughs> <message. laughs> she reads half the message. She reads half the message. Kamena, there are a lot of people in support. You know what? I'm gonna be in support of her, bro, because she's hot as f. 
No one gives a fuck. All the outfits were tacky as fuck. Ukraine had a tacky as hell outfit. Like they were an angel of war. Of course, the whole resilience thing is horrible. Of course, this looks cheap. But you know what? It doesn't she matter. She is hot. She is hot. She's so what beautiful. What the fuck is that? Look, it's stupid looking. Who cares? Who's looking at the outfit? There was like a competition about the national costume. It's part of it, man. There's the bikini competition. There's the talent competition. First of all, who still watches these fucking beauty Haida? I'm the fucking women complaining on Twitter. This is Haida. You guys want to talk about misogyny and shit? This is it. Yeah, literally. Wear a bikini and strut around a stage and let's pick the hottest woman. Like, hey, they, instead of complaining about her, what she's wearing. Uh, Dr. Food and Shiru, guys, which is, you know what's crazy? A few months ago, when we first started talking about Dr. Food, he was his own thing. Hala, it is impossible to think about Dr. Food without thinking of Shru. This is why I've been saying every week, I'm going to keep harping on this. She is digging her claws into him. You literally, she is part of the brand now. Hala, she's inseparable. Is a, is a Dr. Food been as a video? Hala, hala, people are like, yeah, that's fucking lame. When Shru, she is now the meme. I'm telling you guys, I've been telling you bit by bit, spoon feeding, you just, just fucking taking over, drip feeding, khalas, it's over, the takeover is complete, folks, because, look at this, soon, is this even real, I don't even know if this is real, they're but saying, but it's, but oh shit, it looks so tacky, they're making cookies, bro, <laughs> the, sorry, I'm gonna have to say the word, ismo negro, back in the day, the cookies, khalas, ismo negro, that's like better, I guess. They look so tacky, bro. And like the dark chocolate, and like black, and like the fraise, the framboise. What the? They're it's more Doctor Food Ooh, Sunshine. sunshine. That's Doc, crazy. And that logo, the Sunshine Sunrise. It's that logo. Eli, how old is he? Still like kind of had hair ish. He doesn't even look like himself in this photo. Like my shakro Doctor Food. Hatta. He looks like he looks like a different guy, bro. Bayan daddy food, Dion. Bayan, bayan, bayan. She. Anyways, come on. This was this was the least of it. He's, Hey, the Kamena kill Lebanon battle. Doctor Food used to be an actor. He's multi-talented. <laughs> okay, I just got a notification <laughs> from. I got I got a voice note from Zulfi. I can't hide it, folks. I got Zulfi's number. We're gonna talk about Zulfi later. About the voice note. Look, Habibi ya Zulfi. Samana yeah. La la la, it's about something secret. Habibi ya Zulfi. Look, batata. I love my boy. Um, so I'm a Doctor Food. I'm a messy, folks. You know, someone found him. Shufu ta'na hada sawa. Old Doctor Food drama. مش <تصفيق> I gotta say, well, oh, Tamsil looked the fashion. The Matrix. Tamsil is horrible, but he has kind of like a baby face, like Shaklu Hiki Haboob. Uh, like he seems like a nice, sweet like guy, nice with, guy without the beard, with the hair, like Shaklu. Like Honik, I know I'm a foot mashkal ma hadan. I would. He's not threatening at all. Like Shaklu, tiri mahdumu bi hazin, kind of like he seems sweet. <laughs> hey, the, another, another. I actually didn't see this clip. أنا بقول له حطلب البوليس. ما في معنى أستاذ ابنك اللي حيتبادل لأنه هو اعتدى علينا. والله أنا شايف إن هم اللي مضربين. <laughs> He's so bad, bro. He's so bad, bro. Mono, super I'm monotone. Your, I'm super, your script, bro. I'm your, the same, like, super fed monotone and very the same uh, tonality. But you have to talk more. What are you talking about? We're going to talk about it. Hey, my friend, this is not about me. What I did is called a spoon with a spoon. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. La, la, la. He's so bad. He's so bad. But he acts yeah. better in his TikTok videos. Yeah. So we got some more Doctor Food. By the way, by the way, we did a we did a semi uh, viral TikTok. Uh, we talked about this like last week or two weeks ago. Keep Doctor Food said in his interview, Ma Joe Fadis and no Ma Bihabil Jaja couples who keeping his relationship out of social media. Check this out. Oh, ma kthir hab dakhil ay hayat al aili be social media. يوم بتتجلجأ كل يوم وبضلك انت يا فيديوهات كل يوم وكذا خلص بتصير جلجأ يعني انا بتقرفكم انا بتقرفكم His words not mine folks حسهم زبالين صراحة So you heard him you heard him and يعني he became you know to quote the Dark Knight you either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain Dr. Food you have 
seen yourself become the villain, my friend. So let us watch him and Shru and come in. And when you spend all your time with your significant other, who you live together, who tamlo videos, so who TikTok lives the whole time, you're gonna get into some fights, and these fights are gonna be on camera. So uh, let's see Dr. Food and Shru fighting and arguing. <laughs> Bro, look at that, look at that look, bro. She gave him the death stare, bro. I know. Everybody knows that look. I've gotten that look many times in my life, and it is never good news, folks. Let me tell you, once your woman or your partner look gives you that look, you know it's over. Have and, with the smile. And looking back down and yeah. look, like, he's that he is fucked. He slept on the couch that night. Mm -hmm. Another fight come in. Another fight. Habibi Abu Hamza, Allah, that's it. Look at her, she's not happy. But if it's a happy one, Allah. She was Sam. Her name is Sam. When I talk, you listen and you reply. Yeah, that's it. باحترام او لا بلعب معك انا ماني ماني كل الموضوع ما علي ما حدا غلط بحقك ابدا صراحه يعني انت لما انا بحكي انت اللي غلطت بحقي لما انا بحكي علي بتجاوبني لما بتحط كتم بتقول بعتذر في كتم وبتشيل الكتم لما وات هابت تو ذا دكتور فود انا جوعانه هلا ايش صار بتتكلم معي نزلت في هلا طلع منيحه هاي شوي ذي دوينج ذات اون لايف Because they spend all their time doing lives when you spend so much time with someone who. Most likely, they don't even have conversations if they. Don't you go? They make money off of everything. These guys are milking their wedding. Yeah, yeah, I swear. Bro, she ruined this man's life. We are watching. We're watching a man. I'm a team Dr. Food. I'm a team Dr. Food. Get it. Dr. Food needs to hashtag make Dr. Food single again. <laughs> team divorce. I'm a my dog. Bro, she's ruining this man's life. By the way, hala, kill his content. Kill my Nazlo Shiesawa, which is all of his content. The comments, kill on hate. Best hate comments, Amiji. Yeah, yeah. Oh, making fun of them. Like, no one likes him anymore. Hala, best. They're enjoying it because they know, come in. Any publicity, all publicity is good publicity. <laughs> They're going viral. Everyone kill TikTok trends. People doing the Kural Ardi. your food. Everyone's imitating it. Everybody's on that train. You Zoji, Juan. You can't blame him. Can you blame him? And I'm tempted to I mean, Zoji, Juan. My cousin has a couple of globes. I'll, I'll borrow one. We That's Doctor Food. I know it's a lot of updates. Yeah, he's been. They've. They've been all over, man. They've been all over. ورفونا شوي يعني دكتور فود يو سيد ات يو سيد ات يو سيلف بس قرفتنا بدك نحكي عن سلتل ايه اه ذس از ذا سيجوي واو وات ا سيجوي اي ثوت يو بي لايك تراين تو كونفينس مي ما احكي عن سلتل لانه ما ما لك جلاده فوك سلتل يو نو ذا فون كسر ربك بياسر صار يعمل مودلينج ذس هابنز ا لوت اون تيك توك باي ذا واي اكاونتس بيصيروا وات ايفر ذي ورك ان بيصيروا معروفين Once they have a little bit of success, بيصيروا كلهم بدهم يعملوا modeling ولتيب وبيصيروا علي ملك ماركت صار يلبس جوتشي. Everybody's fucking going. طيب شو دنيا؟ هلا عنا السلتة. Check this out. ميوت أحلى ميوت. خي. He's walking around, modeling. Look at that. انسى التليفونات، انسى الوارنتي، انسى الكفالة. شوف ملا outfit ملبى الشوز مع الجاكيت الزيتة. He's laughing, showing off them veneers. Look, oh, yeah, hey, oh, me, Hadan, Smatchy, hey, hey, Alush, my boy. Anyways, sell, tell, folks, sell, tell. Beautiful. Uh, nominated. Wonder, sorry, Gafet. No, no, sorry. He has multiple nominations, but do not worry, awards coming. Sorry. Um, I really wonder, 
انه تيك توك كل التيك توكرز عم نشوفهم كلهم بيلبسوا نفس ستيل اي وندر مين انه الترند سيتر تبعهم مين بيشوفوا لابس هيك بوتيك رورو دكتور تياد ذاتس وات هابنز البويز بيشوفوا البوتيك وهيدا بيكوز ريلي كلهم نفس ستيل نفس الهيدا هون من وين عم يجوا انه انه انا مثلا اصحابي التياد عندنا كاتيجوري بي 14 ديا ستورز اتس مي ريكاردو مايسترو شو ما بدي So we were just talking about Andrew Tate شوي قبل وبتعرفوا Andrew Tate اجوا البوليس عليه The Matrix got me The Matrix is after me because you know who he's uh, he's red pilled ونحن كلنا blue pilled we don't know uh, شخبك السخطة uh. ومن, ومن بعده Logan Paul he did a crypto scam لقطوه he got caught The Matrix they're coming after me The Matrix everybody's constantly harping on The Matrix You fuck up it's The Matrix Well folks The Matrix got one of our own though this week The Matrix guy, Joseph Merab, folks, he's been banned on TikTok. This is a tweet that I put out. Uh, a viewer, Haram, uh, multiple times. A viewer sent me a, a message a few weeks ago being like, Joseph Merab got banned. What happened? I'm like, I've met Joseph Merab. I'm like, it's happened many times with him because uh, he, he claims that because he says that his Uwit al comes from Christ, he says he believes that there's like a campaign of people who don't believe in Christ. They always report him to get to get him off of TikTok. It's not the first time his accounts have been banned before. He's had to and had the Hedel account was a new account that he made in Kamshahir. It keeps getting banned and reported and stuff. But haram, had ten mara, we jam al hundred k. We can. I know, I know. So and I wanted to, and I, I wanted to to parody, you know, uh, Logan Paul, who uh, who Andrew Tate with the Matrix guy, Joseph Merai. Best, I was genuinely worried because I've been calling Joseph Merai. Umam birad dalei. I sent him a WhatsApp. Umarad dalei. I kind of got. Concerned, and you know, is he okay? I want to do the documentary eventually. He ghosted you. Want to I was like, is he hurt? And his account got banned. WhatsApp. I called his brother, folks. I called Joseph's brother. Joseph's fine. He just majadded his like internet thing. So my heck, I can't. Couldn't call him. <laughs> he got banned on TikTok again because he got reported. But he's fine. The month I I I tried calling Joseph, but I called his brother, who I was able to call his brother. And talk to him and get some updates on Joseph. Joseph is fine, folks. And I nice. promise you that documentary will come one day, but life gets in the way sometimes. And I should not have hyped it as early as I did. It's my fault. It's my fault, but it's coming. I fucking promise you. It's going to be great. Come in. I shouldn't say any of that. Anyway. Nope. Oh, so since we don't have Joseph Miraib and uh, we kind of miss him and we need his content, uh, Noor found a French version of Joseph Miraib. Someone sent me this. Actually. Someone will thank you to that someone. And let's, uh, let, let's check it out. is very similar vibes like it is insane bro why an art that the zeh cook wa ghir ta am bshawiz hala lik the first time i saw joseph minab doing it i was like is he for real so i don't know if this guy is actually skilled hala hada msarraw al video by the way no i would say this guy is not skilled What? He looks like the guy from Lincoln Park. Chester. And no hate when he's I love Chester, RIP. Yeah, no, no disrespect to our boy. I think it's time for a second ad. Second ad, folks. Uh, you know him, you love him. And I'm gonna. This is your last chance to take advantage of this, folks. Sendwave, okay? They've been with us for, for like over two months. And do you want to save money on transfers? Do you want to make money right now? Cash money, folks. I'm saving you money on music lessons and I can get you cash right now, folks. Sendwave is an awesome money transfer app, folks. It is an amazing alternative to all the other transfer services that you use and money wiring and stuff like that. Sendwave is a lot better. They have better exchange rates. There is no transfer fees unless you're sending money from the States. There is no pickup fees when you're picking up your money from a wish location. It is the greatest app for transferring money. If you live in the US, Canada, France, Spain, Italy, Belgium, or Ireland and want to send money to Lebanon, Just download the Sendwave app, use our code CASHDNW when making your first transfer, and you'll get a free $10 credit. All you have to do, you can just literally transfer $1 to a loved one in Lebanon. Use our code CASHDNW, you will get a free $10 credit. And if you live in Lebanon, 
but have friends who live in the US, Canada, France, Spain, Italy, Belgium, or Ireland, tell them to download the SendWave app, tell them to transfer you $1 and use our code CASHTNW, you will get a free $10 credit that you can pick up at Wish Money. If you have five friends who live in the US, that's 50 bucks. Tell all of them to download it and send you $1, you'll make 50 bucks. The more people you get to download the app, the more money you make. Thank you to SendWave for being such an awesome partner. Uh, I'm, I'm using SendWave now and whenever my family wants to send me money from the States, they're doing it using SendWave because it's a lot cheaper, it's a lot more practical. I get to keep a lot more of the money that they send me. And it's not bad getting a free $10 when someone's using it for the first time. So if you want to make up some of that Christmas money, some of that New Year money that you spent, uh, SendWave is the app. And thank you to SendWave for supporting us for as long as they did. Uh, we love you guys. All right, moving on, folks. We have a new character to talk about, Joy Tacides. I think he has like a Greek last name or something. Joy Tacides, I don't know. And I think it's made up. <laughs> it could be made up, could be Greek. Um, he's a foodie. He's known for speaking French. And this was, uh, Danny sent us this video, patron and, and friend of the show. Uh, this was the first video I saw, him talking about burgers. And you're going to realize why he went viral and why he's popular. So, who is the best place to buy burgers in Lebanon? There are all prices, there are prices of 1 million, there are prices of 800, there are prices of 325. Follow me here and on Insta for more. And let me know if you want to make videos later on my favorite places. Okay, so obviously, the gimmick here and the reason why people like him is the mixing of the, the French. Mm. Alors, uh, franchement, it was delicious. Uh, ça va, we're gonna... That's why he's been going viral. I think he's great, to be honest with you. I think, I it's think he's great. I really like him. It's refreshing, and I love his confidence. The burgers look amazing. He has comments like, hey, to manyake, and I love how he responds to them in like a very calculated way. So let's watch some more of his videos. And I really think this guy's great, man. Hey, the shoe. Bonjour tout le monde, Liam, le quel mashroul. So, Raya Jarib Cafe alone for the first time ever, by the way. Ma phab abadan roh madrah wahde. But you know, everyone is busy. I told Anna Yella, you know why not? Abel, I used to feel super hek shy. You know, not confident enough to roh Jarib madrah wahde. But you know, today I decided to try it. So, yalla, let's see how it goes. Oh, he's, so he's, he's a sweetheart. He's a sweetheart. I would totally have lunch with him. Let's talk a little bit about lunch. Let's talk a lunch. Croissant rolls. Bonjour tout le monde. Today I woke up sick and craving the croissant rolls tabacanel. So I decided to post this video again. You should all try them. Franchement, c'est trop bon. Moi, j'ai adoré. Fier à la praline ou à la crème vanille. Yalla, follow me here and on Insta for more. Franchement, j'étais au lycée. Euh, on a un onion soup. Bonsoir, bonsoir. Today, je suis malade. Donc, à l'aller droit à la duo, yeah, because I was I craving soup, soup à l'oignon. Ou bien, il fait nos soup à l'oignon à Don Taipei. We ordered soup à l'oignon, escalope ou uh, club sandwich. Et ça va être cool le menu, bah, tous les direct messages à Insta, on va battre le cognier. Ou yalla, follow me here and on Insta for more places. Jalmatra. Okay, first of all, Smalla, he's always sick. Isn't that the second one? Wasn't he sick when he was eating the croissant, Kamena? Salam, Tagmetli. If you want the menu, send me a DM on Instagram, bro. Anna, I would kill to not answer any more Instagram DMs. Hey, there's like, send, you want the menu? That's the most impressive thing, I think. You want, a, you want randos to be like, hey, what's the menu? <laughs> Let them check Google, man. Why are you giving them the menu? <laughs> I would never ask for that. Bonsoir tout le monde and welcome to my weekend vlog. Franchement, comme d'habitude, this weekend was all about food. And we don't ask les South Emreyer, I'm sick. Let me know if you're also sick, by the way, since Lebanon is all over here. Vendredi soir, I went for a live cooking experience at Benihana. It's called Tepanyaki Show. Samedi matin, petit déjeuner at an authentic army. Wait, 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 man. This motherfucker's been sick. I'm going to go to Kilma time. Lebanon's spreading. You're spreading. You got long COVID, bro. Tatab, when you go up the stairs, are you out of breath? Did you have shortness of breath? Are you feeling fatigue at random times of day? You haven't been healthy in a single one of these TikToks, my man. Hashtruha <laughs> matayim. You're going to get all these old fuckers making the mneish. Rahimutu ala kilun bukra hole. Bakery. Ismo ishkhaniyo. Allah irhamu. Mais le problème est qu'on a adna barra, ma'a no kain fi matrah inside. Not sit outside. Et depuis, I'm sick. Eh, mni? At night, I went to a new place called Tayo. Biftake comme ça, ça se prononce. I'm not sure. We had sushi and drinks. Sunday morning, I planned to wake up early pour le petit déjeuner. Bas akid ma'adirat ou'a, donc right m'akhar. And I had croissant for lunch. 
C'était trop bon, by the way. Men baada rihna ala neighborhood cafe, ana w khaye. And we had to follow me here and on Insta for more videos. طبعا انا بدي اعيش هيك حياة. ما هلا حدا رح يساله شو مو بي لايك من وين معك كل هالمصريات وما بعرف شو. Let's see. ثاني هيدي الليل محن اه هون كمان هي gets a hate comment for like the way he speaks. اوكي ديجا ليتس سكيب ذا بارت تبع قلة الاخلاق لانه عن جد في دس عالم على هالاب فريمون ما انا شايف نهار ايدوكاسيون بحياتها بحس. بس اني anyway, واي كان بس بدي اسال انه ليه هالقد مصدومين كلكم انه مانكم شايفين فرنشيز بلبنان انه لبنان كله فرنشيز واللي منه فرنشي بيفهم فرنسي يعني انه كل اللبنانيين بيفهموا فرنسي ليه هالقد الكل انه جانين على الموضوع هي سو فاني مان بس عن جد ما بفهم الناس انه بينزعج وقتها تحكي قدامهم انه قالك حتى ما يصوفي وقتها شو واز توكينج ابوت هير انسيدنت لايك انه شو مفهومه عم تحكي انجلش يي يس بس ليت مي بلاي ديفلز ادفوكيت وذ هيم اتس ذا ويرد لانه بيفرد جمله هيز لايك هي جايز هاوس ات جوينج فرانشمان جي ترو ايمي نو ون ريلي سبيكس لايك ذات اس فار از اي نو انا ام تراي لينجوال اي سبيك بس انه ما مش بيفرد جمله فرانشمان جي ترو ادوري ات واز سو ديليشس If I'm going to speak, I'll add the food. Either I'll say it all in English or in French. So, I understand him. I understand him. But you know, it is. He, he pushes it away for TikTok. It's a gimmick. It's a gimmick. He's doing it away on purpose. So why am I even asking the question? I should know better, Anthony. I know the answers to this. One more honey people are asking about his money. Guys, Jane Kistron, why? أكيد مش كلكم وقسم منكم بس تشوفوا حدا جن من عمري سكسسفول هابي اون سوشيال ميديا بحب يروح مطارح يتسلى وهيك ليه بتحسوا هيك انه دنيت تجوا تكبوا كل حقكم بالكومنتس وتبلشوا انه ليه؟ انه لا مصاري بابي ومامي ما باخذ مصاري من بيي اي ورك اي هاف ماي اون جوب اي ام فيري هابي اي ام فيري جريتفول فور ماي جوب بس انه لو اصلا باخذ مصاري انه من بيي انه انتم شو خصكم بالموضوع؟ شو <تصفيق> دخلكم؟ <تصفيق> Uh, لك انا بحب اتمنى على العالم اللي بياخذوا مصاري من بابي ومامي مش حكاز بالك if you're old and in your 30s واهلك عم يعطوك allowance it is kind of funny not that you do that you have a job so good for you but it is it is kind of funny i hate rich people i don't like it that's just going to be honest with you guys i don't like uh, that whole thing that whole culture min rami al i think that's a good uh, that, that's a great uh, segue min rami al i'm sure you're going to recognize her when you see her face <laughs> ah, they go viral yeah, yeah. she dropped a new video It's four minutes. It's too long. There's no way we're gonna sit here and watch a four-minute Remy Hatt video right now. Plus, there's a minute and a half version of it. Yeah, let's give some commentary. Let's see. شو لو ما بعرف إذا ببكي أم بضحك بصرخ أم بقعد بالبانيو بيكل أم بغمر بسيني وبنام بحكي عربي وإنجليزي أم بسكت كل اللغات بغني اللي بيكتبه أم بغني اللي كتبه غيره بخاف من الجرسة ما البنت بدها السترة أم بنشو الغسيل ما فهمتوا إيه شو لو ما بعرف إذا بوس كل شقفة منه أو بغطى كل شقفة منه بحس بالذنب لأنه خلقت بنت أم بالفخر بتفرج على بيي هو نايم ام بكره بيي هو واعي ونايم بحترم امي على العائله اللي حافظت عليها ام بنقم عليها وما بعمل عائله بحياتي بنشر الغسيل شو لو ما بعرف اذا بتفهم مجتمع وتقاليد ام بتضحك بزين حكي ام بسب ام بنته في شعره باكل الكف والبوكس وبوع بحط فاونديشن وبقول انا جوزة عصبه بس قلبه طيب ام بطلع بوقف على الدرج وبلم الدنيا علي بنشر الغسيل بنشر الفيتا ما انشر مش بالصيت ام بالشمس بنشر الغسيل بروح بتشكى او لشو ما اصلا يا رح يتحشر فيي يا رح يحط الحق وايده علي ويقول لي شو قلتي له تضربك تختصبك شو كنت لابسه لشو تتفوت هالفوته ما اصلا رح يطلع بعد ثلاث سنين خمس سنين بتكون جرست حالك على الفاضي بنشر الغسيل ما بنشر الغسيل Okay, so I'm guessing okay. that as a man, the way I, I think she's talking about, like as a woman, when you get harassed or, or something, a be, uh, domestic violence, anything, do you make the choice to come forward with those allegations? Do you go to the police? Do you try to, to get some help? Or do you stay quiet? And I'm guessing that is the message. That, Uh, hey, I'm told them, don't stay quiet. Don't stay quiet. No, she can't the end result. Look, I agree. I think this is probably the least controversial thing she's ever done. Normally, there's a lot of debate. To... Twitter hates Remy Ya'el. Always happens. On Twitter, her videos go viral and people quote you to bit many people. On no, Instagram, no, I know many people that adore her. On Instagram, they Anna, love her. I love her. Well, no, no, I love her. No, 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 Instagram, Anna, I love her. Instagram, she gets... <laughs> she gets nothing but love on Instagram in comments. Uh, she... 
I'm not gonna say she's a friend of the show, but so no, we, I reacted to one of her old videos, like before you guys ever were a part of I the know show. It. She watched it. She follows me. I, let me see if she still follows me. I know so many like famous people follow me, then they unfollow me about Chiao Min once they like. Oh, this guy only talks about stupid shit. So many people. It happened with the uh, Shusma, the doctor, the sex doctor. We didn't Shusma Sandrine. Sandrine. Doctor Sandrine. She followed me after I did like an episode, kind of defending her. Then I think like five days later, she was like, "Oh fuck no!" Like she literally unfollow. Uh, Remy, let's see if Remy Ad still follows me. What do you guys say? She still follows me or unfollowed? She unfollowed. Follows. She still follows me, folks. Victory. Walla walla. So we got to be nice to her. I think this was a great video. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it was. It's it was nice. nice. It was good. It was uh, it's the no, last I one that she did was a song. Mafhimta hatta. To be honest with you, I didn't even understand what it was about. Hey, Mafhimta. Uh, this is relevant you know, to the Maya Sufi story and all of that. And Maya nashrit al ghasil and she went public. And guess what? Sharb al muad akal nashaf al ghasil. Nashaf al ghasil. So good. I like this video. And you said when I asked you, did you like it? You were like, eh. uh, la, uh, be honest. Ana, la, la, eh, eh, like, let me talk. <laughs> uh, I love. What do you her, think? I love <laughs> all of her videos. I think she's a great artist. Like as a, I think he is. She writes all of those. I think mm. she's amazing. She's very smart. She's brilliant, actually. Uh, Best, uh, no. there's a but coming. Eh, uh, I, know, I, I don't really agree with the, with the format. Taba. I think sometimes I know, it's, uh, I know, like, it's too much. Mm. My wife is a femta leo. I don't want this to come off the wrong way. Oh, she is. Twitter, I think no one needs to get cancelled. Uh, and they're like, yeah, I know she maybe. Uh, <laughs> you want to say? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> you don't like these big, lavish video campaigns? Is that she? I find them actually pretentious. <laughs> Why am I speaking for you? I don't believe those <laughs> things, by the way. Thank you for, for giving me the word. Sorry. Same. But no. Hey, fair enough. Anti Elijah, you like it? And I love her. And any powerful woman, Vabada, Mission Hekra, Hadar Madonna Live. You can't afford the tickets. <laughs> if you can afford the I tickets. I will. <laughs> okay, let me explain more. Kifa Pshufa and no. And okay, Handa, her audience. Audience Sabaha, Hai Shuf, Hai Shi, Hai Famu, they're gonna appreciate it. Okay, Anna, I really, really appreciate it. Moaz de Shitan, Bas. Bas and Nes, Yelly, and Jed Lizem, you famu, message Tabaha. You mean the Andrew Tate yifham. fans? And no, I keep. Of course. Ma yeah, yeah. Hal, hal so you want her to do something that can reach the Andrew Tate fans, Yimkin. basically. Ano, ano, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, she's so talented. I know what I like about her is that she has a very distinct style. Anytime she does something, you, you, it's unmistakably her. So that's always great to me. Like she has that signature style. Love it or hate it, you can't deny that it's. Uh, Authorship, it's hers. She's an auteur. It's literally poetry. Like, uh, yeah. Visual poetry. Well, she's a true artist. And again, yeah. lo love it or hate it, you can hate it, but you can't deny that it's art. She's expressing herself fully. Uh, she doesn't hold back, and she's very much herself. Very cool. You know who also is very much themselves without holding back? El Zulfi, <laughs> folks. I got voice notes from Zulfi. Zulfi and I are friends now. I know that's what I live for now. I want to be friends with Zulfi. That's my life. I'm the best video Mahdoum and Zulfi. Ukamena, we're friends now. Hey, the habbeta. They have fictal batata. Batata, zikola. I'm happy. Anna, usos, avocat. Hot dog. Hot dog. Shuf malawajbe. Hal Anna Zulfi. I'm going to Anna Joyne. Offer Joyne. Hajdi de Nar. Shu khay Zulfi. Sa amre. Ya khay. Lo saar al dollar. Ab meet al. Mish ab khamsin. Bal atch ab si. Bal dollar al saar bal arad. Kif yani al saar bal arad? يعني وجبة جوانح 24 قطعة مشويين على ذوق ذوقك مش جانح جانح معتوم وكبيس وصوص صوص. وخبزة حرة بقد ايه؟ بتقول صوص ب 250,000 بعده السعر مطرحه لا طلع ولا نزل ب 250,000 بتاخذ وجبة جوانح طايرة طايرة من الأتشفسية بتاكل وبتطير يا كبير من وين؟ Boom! 
سؤال تعرف وين محله؟ ما بعرف خلص اوف فاين اتب لايك ورح سمعكم شوية الفويس نوت ليش لا؟ يلا بنتسلى بليز خلي لي قلبك يا عمري خلي لي قلبك حبيت اقول لك هيك كلمة يا عمري عشان حسيتك حبيتها بالفيديو حضرت الفيديو اللي على تيك توك اللي على يوتيوب كان كثير قوي كثير شيء بضحك كثير قوي وانت الكينج وانا عن جد بكبر بحبكم وشو بدك انا معك خلص بكفي بكفي We love our boy Zulfi. Thank you. انت الكينج يا زلفي. انت الكينج مش انا الكينج. انت الكينج. انا الكينج. انا فوكس. I have big feet. I struggle finding shoes. Which is why I'm busted when I saw this triple X video made for me. انا اجري 47 بالبوس. بالبوس 47. For real? Yeah, size 13. وزبر? Yeah, you know what they say about big feet, right motherfuckers? فيديو ابدا 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 مش للقلوب الضعيفة. القلوب الضعيفة تظهر. انا عامل هيدول فيديو قبل بمره بس حارجع اعيده لانه في كثير عالم عم تسالني شو عندك شو زيت الباسكت في منا ل 47 بتعرف لانه كل لعيبه الباسكت جرايا اسم الله كثير كبيره قرب لعندي اول شوز بدنا نحكي اليوم عن الجوردن 6 اوكي اول شوز معنا اليوم بضحك انا كنت اتمرن بنادي غزير كنت شوف كوتش غسان سركيس عم بمرن فريق الحكم دائما عيشت السيم عيشت كنت شوف اليم شنتف والفريق كله يتمرن بنادي غزير كنت شوف رو... توني سايقلي وزار... نو no. مش هيدا روني سايقلي جو رومي. فوجل سوري جو فوجل بتذكر جو فوجل ما بعرف ما بحضر باسكت there was another player who was really tall <تصفيق> توني ماديسون بتذكر توني ماديسون خيي هول الكلاسيكس I used to see these guys training live هول الاجانب الاجانب تبع الايامات القديمة برو باسكت ما باسكت خلص ما تحكي ما بعرف I forgot what, I, what my point was 6 اوكي اول شوز معنا اليوم لك ملا قطع هيدا الميتشيغان جوردن 6 ميتشيغان هذا الباسكت بس بكل ما اني تايم ميك فان زول ولا بعمل لك كيف بيحكوا ما خي ما اتس فاني يعني حلو انا متشجن انه بده يكمش المعصم من هون ليك من اللقطه عليك عندك بعطيني شوز ليك الجمال ليك اللون ليك الجلد ليك اللون الحلو ليك الخليط بين الشيموان والجلد ليك ليك من اللقطه قرب 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 صور تفاصيل ليك من اللقطه عليك هلا ليك عندك ثالث شوز جوردن 6 برجع بذكر سايزات 40 47 ذيز ار جود اليد يعني هول كوبي اي عن جد هون هون الجمال هون الجمال كله يعني ما بدك تلعب باسكت عن جد بلا مزح انليس يو كومبيرينج ذيس تو لايك ذا اكشوال اوريجينال ون موست بيبل كانت تيل ذا ديفرنس اند اول اوف ذيز ار ميد فروم ذا سيم مولدز ما ديجال نايكي وين معمول بامريكا معمول بالصين تشاينا اند اول ذوز كانتريز ذي تيك ذا سيم مولدز بيرجع بيعملون اند ذي سيل كوبي ايز فور ليس ماني كوبي اي خي هيدي منتبه خي على ذوقك بدك تظهر فيك تلبسه بدك تلعب باسكت في... يعني لكل شيء بينلبس لجينز سويت بانتس باسكت اي شيء بينلبس قرب 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 Is it Travis Scott? I think Travis Scott is Cactus Jack. She heck. What's she on the quality? I'm not far away. You're not going to know what I'm talking about. بس بدك تحكي بالبريميوم كواليتي بالفيري هاي كواليتي قرب للكاميرا شوي. That's how you can tell. لكن نقطة الخضرة شفتها هاي البريميوم كواليتي هيدا الفابريك أوريجينال. روح. Hey Cactus Jack is Travis Scott. You're not sure. خدوا الفلاش لايت حطوه على كعب البوت. عالشوزات وبتعرفوا اذا اوريجينال او لا اذا كوبي اي او كوبي بي. منيح عنده بيج سايزز انا اي هاف بيج فيت انا كونسيدرينج انا اه هاو هاو بيج از يور ار يور فيت في يور 40 40 اوه واو يو جات هيوج اس فيت هابت فيت ام كيدنج انت قد ايه قد ايه بتلبس انا 41 اه بيبي لوك فيت انا 47 انا مان اي جات فاكينج انا اي باي اول ماي شوز فروم ذا ستيت صراحه مور دونت فيل باد في الفيت ايش اجرى 41 سو أنا بشتري من بالك من أمريكا وبجيب معي خي ما بتعذب بقى هون. We're almost done, folks. We're gonna do a quick review of The Last of Us, uh, the first episode that came out on HBO. HBO Max. Best before. في أنا my favorite. أبو علي. Is he a dad? I don't even know if he's a dad, but uh, he is our little friend who does flips. Here we have. Uh, I like this flip because he fucks it up, but he keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta watch it again, man. We gotta watch that flip a second time. <laughs> 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 
The thud that it makes. I'm not sound the sound. I love him. I got cancer. Mom, I'm not guys. No, relax. The note farkash. Here he says the classic line. But after that, he. Shabab al Sabaya, Tarali al Lai, Maad al Saa, Jiba Zabik Jiba Ro. جيب هذا فيك تجيب هذا كل ما افتحت كتاب تبع دو نوت ويري بيطلع لي اول واحد كمان بده يكون فاتح لايف ار فور يو بيج نوز اس ويل هلا فولكس وي غونا جيت انتو اور ريفيو اوف ذا ذا لاست اوف اس اتس غونا بي سبويلر فري وي نوت غونا جيت انتو اني ديتيلز وي مايت توك اباوت ون اور تو ثينجز ذات جنرالي معروفين اباوت ذا جيم بس وي غونا كيب ات سبويلر فري ذا لاست اوف اس از It's an HBO show based on the extremely popular PlayStation series, The Last of Us. The first game came out on PlayStation 3 many years ago. The Last of Us 2 came out on PS4 like a couple of years ago. Elijah, enter The Last of Us Part 2 is like your favorite game. You have a tattoo of it, if I'm not mistaken. It's my biggest tattoo. You have a huge Last and of Us. And the Ali's tattoo. You have a huge Last of Us tattoo. And I quite liked the first Last of Us game. I thought the story was very nice, but I thought the gameplay wasn't that great, to be honest. I thought it was... Laptop remake? No, no. I'm not going to pay for Ma- the same game. Uh, I'm not going to pay 50 bucks to replay but it. But the remake literally added the mechanics to about two into the one. For the gameplay is much better. Even the gameplay and mechanics to about two weren't better than the first one, but it gets repetitive. You upgrade your guns, my lads. Anyways, it's the story about it's a post-apocalyptic future where there's like some kind of a zombie fung- fungal infection where the world goes to shit and you follow the two main characters joel and ellie as uh, they go on this adventure together joel i don't want to spoil it you know the, the game starts off very dramatically you get to meet joel before the post before the the zombie invasion takes over something very tragic happens and then you get he gets to meet ellie later and then they they have to go on this adventure he basically has to take ellie from one place to another, they have to cross like the country together through zombie-infested lands. Why? Because there's something very important about Ellie, and she's like a key to this whole thing. Anyways, I think was, the first episode was brilliant. I've, it was excellent. I don't think I've ever seen a video game adaptation be as faithful as this. And most video game adaptations, whether they've been for movies or video games, have been bad. I love the Mortal Kombat movie, Manzaman, but that's like a guilty pleasure. The Sonic movies have been fine, like Detective Pikachu was fine. Arcane on Netflix has, was huge, but it's not really based on a game. Like, it's a whole new original random story. Mm. This, and Un- the Uncharted movie was like, eh. This felt like I was playing The Last of Us, especially when they recreated the opening of the game. Especially the car. So the car, oof, oof, oof. so well done, so heartbreaking when the thing happens. I think Pedro Pascal was such a perfect choice He's to play a perfect Joel. Joel. He just needs more facial hair. And it's that little thing, give him more. He needs more of a beard. Ellie's great. She doesn't look like Ellie from the game, but she's but fantastic. Yeah, I, 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 about the casting for Ellie because Ellie is like one of my favorite. Video the whole game internet, character. she doesn't look like her. She looks weird. She's fine. But she's fine. The yeah. way she acted, well, yeah. well deserved. Dude, she was a badass in Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, young lady was. Mormont, man. Like I she, remember. She, yeah. She's so cool. So she's a fantastic actress. I think they've really nailed it. There's one thing that. In the end of the episode, there's this big reveal. I felt like the the show went over it kind of quickly. They didn't linger on the reveal. There's a big reveal that happens at the end of the episode. The game gives it a lot more weight and importance. Hello, this is just a show. Maybe episode two starts with like, whoa, what is that? Tell us more. But the way episode one ended, plus for someone who hasn't played the game, they might be a little confused or like they might not understand what the big deal is. Mm. As someone who's played the game, I totally knew what the fuck they were talking about, obviously. I just felt like that was a little bit lacking, but the it looks like The Last of Us, it feels like The Last of Us. Like about this big reveal, I think they'll stress on it after the episode two. Probably. Uh, and it's it? all, that whole episode is already say out a little. I think they ran out of time. Or she. Yeah, yeah. That's the episode one was two episodes stitched together. But it, that, you know, the way the episode started, the introduction, the interview, kill she. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Flawless. Wanjad, wow. No, you were saying something. Uh, I can, Jay, I wanted to ask, and would I enjoy watching it? Uh, I haven't played it. Of course, of course. It's a, it's a pretty simple. And if you've played it, you just know a little bit more. It's like the people who read the Game of Thrones books. They know who's going to die and what's going to happen uh. when and stuff. So. I have the advantage now of knowing it, it. It's cool. Like this is such a good adaptation that I kind of feel like book readers felt when Game of Thrones was happening. I feel like I'm a book reader now. Instead of reading a book, I play the video game. But I feel like 
I'm fucking ready. Like, I know where this is going. And I'm, and I'm excited to see how they're going to change it because I don't want them to adapt it one for one. You have the games for that. If you want the same exact story, go play the game. So I'm curious to see where they take it. But the ending of the first game is iconic. So I want it to be the same. My question is for the second game, bro. What are, you, what are they going to do for the second season? Because the, because the fans fucking hate this. A lot of the fans hate the second game. Many people love it. I like the second game because I hate some of the choices that they made, how the gameplay, the, 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 the pacing of the second game. But it's confirmed season two will follow in the footsteps of the game, the part two. Really? God damn, it's gonna and be. I love this. Oh, no, no, because the second game. <laughs> no, no, but halfway through the game, in the second game, they stop and you switch perspectives. <laughs> and you start playing as another character. I hated that. The, it killed the pacing. The story, I didn't mind what happens in the big dramatic thing. I know. So anyways, as a first episode, as a pilot, this sets the tone beautifully, perfectly. It was directed by Craig Mazin and written by Craig Mazin who was the writer and like creator of the Chernobyl series that was on HBO a couple of years ago. That series is fucking amazing. Like Chernobyl is probably one of the greatest miniseries I've ever seen in my life. So his work is incredible. And he co-wrote the series with Neil Druckmann, who was the creator yep. of the game on PlayStation. So it's so authentic. Well, hatta Neil Druckmann was in a lot of the shootings of the episodes in the background. Awesome. You could tell, man, there are some shots that are... Literally, one exactly for one, clear. literally a recreation of like a game panel. It's so impressive. If you can add some photos into just I will under the videos already. Downloaded. It's so cool. It's so cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm very excited for the second episode. Um, and yeah, and this like this raises the bar for like Amazon's God of War series. Y'all, y'all can't fuck it up. For the God of War series, that means that he wants to be God of War. The guy who acts, uh, the guy Christopher more. Judge. Ah, uh, Christopher Judge. I would love for. I, I would love that. I know that he's black, and so that what? you can't like. There weren't Kratos wasn't black. There weren't like black warriors. But in he's Greek, literally Kratos. Ancient Greece. I know. I know. And I. I wouldn't have. I'm. I'm. I'm super willing to overlook that because he's so good. But I think realistically, it's not going to happen. I hope but it does. But if it doesn't, yeah. if it's not him, I think Jason Momoa looks the part. He's got that. Because also, Christopher Judge has like such a tiny little nose. Mm. He doesn't look like Kratos. Like, he has a tiny Big show works. He's not an actor, man. Wrestling no, he's not. I know. Not someone who can <laughs> act. I think I think Jason Momoa has that look. He could do it. That's my body. If people want, but don't Triple H. Maybe best still Triple H. How do you know Triple H? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I'm all about Triple H. That's it, folks. Uh, thank you for joining us. Please join us next week for the Do Not Worry Awards, which are going to be insane. It's going to be such insane. a big, bombastic episode with so many surprises, so many, so many fun things in store. Thank you to Zayn Rida as a brand new superhero patron. Thank you, Zayn, for supporting us. Thank you to Joe Khoury, Jessica Jalou, Mark Iwan, uh, Ingenious Baboon, Leonardo Sawaya, uh, our beautiful blonde patrons, uh, Rhea D as a superhero patron, Joey Dabul, Danny Karam, Ned, we love you guys. And our God tier patrons. Jessica Ann, Muhammad Namani, 69 Monkeys, Andrew G, Jack Sleeman, Burgery, and Adam Khazan. Thank you guys. We cannot do this without you. To our sponsors, uh, Sendwave. Don't forget to use code CASHTNW. Get some of that money before the end of the month because it'll be too late then. And Take a Music School. Folks, sign up for one month. Get a second month free. Starting at 25 bucks a month. It is an awesome offer. So do not miss it. It was a great episode. Inshallah. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it, folks. Enjoy the episode. Leave your comments below. Like, subscribe. And we will see you next week for the Do Not Worry Awards. As usual. <gasps>